Hello. It's me. I can't sleep. Oh, me neither. Can I? Yes. Come. Hey everyone, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games. OMG! OMG. This is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are here to dive once more into Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now it's become like Gabriel Knight, Sex of the Douchebag, I guess, really. Yeah, we uh, learned that he can come on command. So that's... Yeah. Which, something. that's totally normal. Yeah. Yeah, so we're ready to jump right back into it. You uh, you good to go over there, Ford? I am mentally prepared. I have steeled myself for this experience, and I'm just... I'm looking forward to hearing the dulcet tones of Nana Narrator's voice again. All right, let's go ask about some snakes. <laughs> oh, this is him going away the night before, but oh well. It's all good. And paper boy's gonna come. Das five. Das five. Road was blocked. The truth was shown. The white flag had been waved. Reversal cost me all I had and everything I'd braved. Everything I'd braved. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this game. <laughs> <laughs> really, I, I'm glad they're throwing them at us faster and faster here. We're on DOS 5 already. Yeah. I assume this is actually disc 5 as well. Like, disc 4 was such a screw you disc. <laughs> Wow, that drummer is really hardcore watching over us. Yeah, and he wasn't there when Are we came inside just a minute ago. Sure. No, he was. Right. We're just like, good morning, Rod, a drummer. <laughs> if I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now, what's up? Thought you got another package this morning. FedEx. Fed X. <laughs> uh, uh. I was expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came over mm, My myself. German Shiza porn is here. Hmm? The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the German? Someone has to look Oh, oh, you. now Leah You're Ramini trouble. decides to put emphasis on words. <laughs> yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Christ? <laughs> the horoscope just today is like, journal. just, Careful you're gonna Gabriel. fucking die, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just amble over here. <laughs> St. George's books. <clears throat> oh, Professor Hartridge, I'm glad you called. Did you... You did. You, you uh, want me to keep slugger. using that voice? Um, uh, okay, Professor Hart really? okay, Professor Hartridge. Okay, Professor Hartridge. Okay, Professor Hartridge. A goon but a gris, huh? You're doing the whole, well, it like, sound like it. where we're only hearing one it's side like of a conversation it. thing. That's the wavy pattern the yeah. And so okay. he has to do all of the exposition ball. as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's really <laughs> awkward. Have you ever tried to talk on the phone like that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, I'll come over as soon as I can. Okay. Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Now you're eating oatmeal okay. currently. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> See, what what am I wearing? What are you wearing? <laughs> you put in too much brown sugar. <laughs> not really. He's we'll not a bomb in heart. Don't look so worried. <laughs> no one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe, and I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Now that's how Sometimes you accentuate a word, bones. Leah. <laughs> My dreams. What about your dreams? Nothing. I'll be careful. I promise. Last night, I dreamt that Alligator Jesus came to me, and he told me that someday I was going to be president of the Britney Spears fan club. So all of this stuff is still in our inventory when we came in, so that means we went over to uh, Malia's place with all this shit in our pockets. <laughs> Can you see him just like, just let me put down my alligator Jesus and then I will unfurl my trouser snake. She says, no, leave it on. Dear Gabriel, <laughs> please read the enclosed journal carefully. It might help you understand your family's special obligations and our current predicament. Chicago, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> I 
Gabriel Wolfgang. So here's my guess. Gabriel is going to find out that he's from a long line of monster Gabriel killers, and he's going to have to kill Malia. But I think it would be funny to like redub this game and take out all of the uh, supernatural and just make it what it seems to be teetering on the edge of already, which is black people. <laughs> And of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Oh, best. Uh, <laughs> really yeah, I'm sure he was the one who had a rough time there. Husband. Yeah. And of Gunter's investigations into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition. Whenever somebody says a certain blah blah blah, it makes me think that I should know what they're talking about. Right. To set a trap for the Coven committee. The second to last entry. Did the writers of this game not know the word penultimate? Surviving members of the crew. It seems they don't. A man now living in the West Indies. Gunter has spread a false rumor. Most people who use the word penultimate use it incorrectly. Do they? Yeah. And allow they just think it means ultimate. Uh, <laughs> they literally think it means ultimate. <laughs> son of a bitch, wasn't he? <laughs> Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. Ooh. Oh, we get to read this one. It looks like the other pages of the journal, except like clearer. <laughs> Thy underserving son, Gunther. <laughs> Undeserving. We have this process at work that involves uh, you. You have to disaggregate things, and uh, the people who were telling us about it had a hell of an accent, and so they keep saying you have to desegregate the information. <laughs> Got a minute, Grace? But like, if What's you. Up? Disaggregate it and then you re-aggregate it. You and then you have to re-disaggregate it. Sure, what? <laughs> Could you research Rada drums for me? Rada drums? Sure. I'll just ask that guy right outside the window. In the shop, but I'll contact <laughs> our suppliers. Assuming any of them will send you any credit. Credit for Tell research? Them it's an emergency. Uh-huh. I can see where a Rada drum book would be incredibly urgent. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Okay. Man, it's sad that of all the places have on the map we have, we don't have a library. Ooh, no. Makes my skin <laughs> or the internet. Oh, it's like 1993. Does she should just log on to Prodigy Online <laughs> and use the Encarta no. Online Sorry. encyclopedia. Connection lost. <laughs> Times Picture June. Dated June 22nd, 1993. Disgusted with the state of the voodoo murder case, Gabriel turns right to his horoscope. The shadow upon you is no longer reversible. Wonderful. Wait, we got points for that? Yeah, we get points every time we check her horoscope. Uh, okay. I'm going out. See ya. Pay no attention to the creepy guy standing out there. Just walk <laughs> right past him and get on your motorcycle. Wouldn't want to be ya or have sex with you like a slut. <laughs> oh, I hope we can watch another. Oh, damn. Just yeah. Talk to him. Damn. That's too bad. I was hoping we'd get to watch like a agricultural microbiology lecture hey, or Hot Ridge, what's a good <laughs> word? Hot Ridge? Dead. Ah. Quick, I got oh, a shirt. Uh, not again. <laughs> Something about Hartridge's death mask reminds Gabriel of the death way mask? Christ checked out. Death mask. I, I think that's called a face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start calling all faces death masks. Especially considering the rest of the room. On the desk is a sheet of paper with some scribble notes. It looks recent. It says, "Do the laundry, dust the lamps." 
bread. Milk. There's a there should be a Rada drummer face right behind the aquarium. <laughs> Cartridge's notes are scribbled on notepad paper. Put the hair gel on them. <laughs> Cartridge's... What? Okay. <laughs> Nana narrator just fell asleep in the middle of a word there. Oh, I think they clicked off of it because she was just saying the same thing that she had already. Read the bullet. The narrator had a stroke. Her Before death mask. Oh. The <laughs> Gabriel notifies campus security about Hatridge's body. But crash, we just left dead in a church. Yep. Oh dear God, we're gonna have to go ask him about things again. Oh no, it's dark. Why is it so dark in here? Oh. Doctor John. Doctor John Hello. isn't there. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're gonna get eaten by a snake. Snake attack. <laughs> you should have asked more people about snakes. Choke the snake back. Choke it back. What the hell are we... What? Oh, we're turning on the light? Somehow turning on the light made the snake run away? I guess so. You did? I am sorry. The museum is closed today. And we were not expecting this. Damn it, Worf. I appear to have an octopus head? He is incredibly powerful. You don't need to ask twice. I'm out of here. By the way, you might want to lock your door next time you are close. Not a bad idea. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Good night, Mr. Bye. Did we go there just to get attacked by a snake? What's that? Yeah, I guess so. I... Did we get anything out of that? We didn't get a little do 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 thing. What happened to you? No, we did when we turned Look, on the light, I what? think. Oh. Well, you're kind of a pale green color. Come here. You're a darker shade of pale green. Pale green, you say? Sean. Oh, no, maybe What's the snake had to face? infect us. I'm sure you'll tell me. Is it snake goo? <laughs> Looks like a sparkly or something. Got it. A sparkly? I love it when you pick stuff off my face, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sparkly, well, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> Snake sperm. Sparkly. It, that was funnier when Steve Martin used to say it. <laughs> Someone get her one of those, like, arrow through the head gags. Maybe then it'll be funnier. Yeah. I thought maybe we were going to pick nits out of her hair there, Bruce. <laughs> the python left me a souvenir. Uh, Who are you talking to, Gabriel? Ah, uh, no, no one, no one. Oh, maybe now we're gonna match it, and it's gonna be exactly the same. See, there we go. That's why we had to find it, because Doctor John's snake was at the Ponta train. It's a snake scale from the Voodoo Museum's Python. There's a um, like <laughs> sex toy and lingerie store <laughs> here in town called Doctor John's. So every time we're talking about Doctor John, I'm like, Ooh, let's go get a new vibe. I remember I knew a Doctor John's from somewhere. The iridescent scale is brilliantly hued with greens and purples. The iridescent scale is brilliant. I should try tasting the scale and see if it tastes the same. Gabriel magnifies the scale from the lake. Huge purples and greens. It matches the scale from the Voodoo Museum. Oh shit, dude, things just got two real. Scales together. <laughs> oh, now we have an extra space in our inventory. That's great. So let's make pretty a clay casting of the scales, and... Pretty soon, he will have created an entire new python. <laughs> I'm out of here. Well, I think we have to go Not and find ourselves a snakesmith, and the snakesmith can use the scales. We just gotta go to bars and try, like, helping out people until someone's like, I am a snakesmith, so <laughs> if you ever need my help... <laughs> Not me trying to be Jewish, by the way. That was just some ridiculous accent I threw out there. <laughs> Ooh, it's a new message. The second message made from the voodoo crosses is on the wall. 
This is like checking our email, but we just don't know what the hell it means. And right. Let me get these new marks down. It says, for a good time, call Gabriel. Who was it it's that translated Gabriel these for us before? I can't remember. I don't think we've ever translated them, have we? With my oh, Gentia okay, Moon Magentia Moon translation, penciled in. It's Gabriel's sketch. What was the original translation? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. It's been a long time. If somebody's messages. watching these in succession, it was only like an hour ago for them, but for us it was like two months ago. The they're, they're like, these people are idiots. <laughs> tree. <laughs> well, it's probably a tree, I mean... <laughs> Gabriel should at least wait until the watchman is gone before defacing the tomb. Just throw the gel at him. Is he gonna have sex with the tomb? Now we just wait for the watchman to be gone, I guess. Wait till his shift ends. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh my god, he's been raking that area for like... Oh, days. Five days. days straight. Yeah. I think I'll leave a message. And there's now. that jockey urinating on the mausoleum in the background, and he doesn't seem to care about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ring finger. Oh, whoa! Holy crap, dude. Uh, what was? S uh, sec, sec, uh, second, question. second question mark. What the hell is he writing? A, A O question mark? A D O question mark. What? Let Ellie. Pleased with his message, give her tosses. What the hell down. did it say? Now, I... if only DJ reads it in time. Okay, so DJ seems to be Doctor John, but I remember that from the from the thing that DJ was Doctor John. But I had no idea what the hell we just wrote to Doctor John. If it is Doctor John. Gibberish. We wrote gibberish. Ooh, are we maybe we go? wrote something in French. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Does Gabriel speak French? If he did, he'd probably uh, know what Gabriel encore meant. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that Madame Lorelei has returned. Hey, are you responsible for the god awfully pessimistic horoscopes in the paper? <laughs> you, you became Hank Hill for a second Yo, there. Back. You know, you really freaked me out running off like that. You anybody home? And she's dead. Stay away from Maria Denny, or you shall pay with your life. Well, well that was <gasps> different. <laughs> that looked like uh, he was Gambit, and it, I was reading like some sort of bad '90s X-Men comic there. Yeah, he he does bear a striking resemblance to Gambit in some ways, huh? I <laughs> I still like <laughs> Tristan's comment is that it's kind of like watching a uh, 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 oh hell a. Uh, uh, Totally blanking on the word, but you know, a grumpy a sort of uh, goth Conan O'Brien. <laughs> oh, there's another guy out there drumming. Or he's is he inside? In the detective's office. That I think seems... he's in Mosley's office. <laughs> yeah, that seems especially bizarre. But now he's not there. What? Hey, Mosley. Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. I just ate a rotted drummer. How are you? <laughs> Night. I love the I music in here. It's all like the soundtrack the to Stripe C. <laughs> right, well, it's I it's high school graduation. I don't understand it. I have to tell you, but I'm pretty pissed off about this case being closed. 
You guys are making a big mistake. Is his first name Bud, or is he just saying, you like, are buddy? Not, but I got my mm -hmm. They do like the random capitalization in this. Yeah. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. This is like Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Proofreaders. <laughs> Crash is dead. Talking about. I let him go yesterday. By let him go, I mean yeah. poison deal. I watched him die yesterday. That's St. Louis. He's probably still there. The <laughs> Guess he's trying to get a last minute A train ticket, huh? Eh? Poor bastard. I anyway, I'm not really that concerned about his death. <laughs> Crash said. Crash said. Did he mention pink elephants too? Aren't you going to investigate? Did you actually see someone killing? I am incredibly no. actually, incompetent, Knight. Yeah. How many Could've times do I have to tell you this? Yeah, well, when they get the body <laughs> in, they'll do a quick autopsy. Standard procedure. If it's anything other than an overdose, I'll get a report. But it won't happen. I know these guys. Lock them up overnight and they can to overdo it the next day. Well, that's how Your we kill them often. is astonishing. There's been another murder. A professor at Tulane. Oh, crack, you're not gonna start this You and this your again. damn dead people. Just I am this. just a simple homicide detective. <laughs> Gabriel, what the hell do he I care? African studies of Tulane. <laughs> Yesterday, I yeah, I guess if you're gonna commit murder, murder apparently, New yeah, Orleans is the place to do it. Place to it calls me up this morning. Tells yeah, me the worst day. law enforcement and there. <laughs> The guys did. You know, you're really getting your ass in a sling over this thing, right? What does that mean? It's not about me. You know, that's one of those sayings that when you think about it, what the hell does it mean? I mean, some of them make sense, like like getting your panties in a bunch. Crash or this yeah. new guy have their hearts ripped out? No. Then there's nothing to link either to the Voodoo Murders MO. Besides that, the case is closed, and I think if the coroner's report asked for Why a homicide the case investigation closed? on either of these guys, fine. It was something in the but paper. They, they found the who did case, it and it had nothing to do with Voodoo Murders. Good reason to do so. But I'm the link to the Voodoo Murders case, don't you see? Look, if I were you, I wouldn't repeat that to anyone. If I weren't an old friend of yours, I might take you seriously and lock you up. As it is, maybe you should start keeping your mouth the, shut. The Not plot is kind of coming fast and furious now. After like a week, or after four days of just asking people about snakes, suddenly people are dying left and right. And Look, the department's not in. And there's like a police so cover-up. them interested? Yeah. yeah. I've got seven is, bodies and still no leads. Is Mosley in on it? Is that where we're going with this? I don't think so. I think he's just incompetent. The voodoo stuff is not maybe. worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay. You want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. Look, Knight, what do you I mean? have 35 people need who need to, to be on stage behind me any second now, okay? <laughs> Prove their friend. You do not want to see what happens when you keep a drum major waiting. <laughs> All right. Well, I've already, I've already posted a uh, meaningless message on a wall to a voodoo cult leader. So I'll get back to you on how that goes. It's a newspaper clipping from the year 1810. Ah, some new evidence in the case. <laughs> <laughs> This is a newspaper clipping about a murder committed in 1810. That murder is an exact match of the voodoo murders right now. Oh, God, Knight, why did you make this up and mm. print this? This does sound like the same M.O. 1810? 1810. They killed them. They're killing now. Isn't that proof that they're likely to kill again? Not for that another 180 years, Knight. <laughs> My God, the case is closed. Can we show him the two snake scales? Is, is he gonna care? I mean, I'm really you know excited we found a matching found snake scale. The this is a reconstruction of the whole What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I 
borrow the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me. We, we the were there, game. You don't really? need to tell us again. So this is the I, whole <laughs> pattern, huh? Well, that's pretty good work. That's right? one of the few things I do but remember from the game. That doesn't prove this pattern is really connected to Voodoo. Um, here's a little dog I stole from an old racist woman. Does that, does that <laughs> do anything for you? No? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Take a look at these notes. They're from Professor Hartridge, Tulane University. Yeah? It's got like his grandmother's it's phone number work. on it, the and is on his shopping list. You see that target really? thing he did? I wonder if he's in a Call of Duty. You ever play that Something game? Like that up here? <laughs> it's been here for quite some time, so it seems. I'm impressed. Okay, you've convinced me. The murders were done by a legitimate voodoo cult. But if it's a legitimate voodoo cult, then New Orleans has a way of shutting that whole thing down. It, do they? Um, yeah, oh, you know, I get, I get where you're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the others from the Snake of the Voodoo Museum on Ursulines and Jarvis. Is this common? Do they all look alike? Not at all. Look, let me show you some other snake scales I've appropriated over the past week. The python's coloring is quite individualistic. A python. That's right. Well, you are the resident Hot, snake, snake expert. <laughs> Somehow, some way, the Voodoo Museum's pattern was at the scene of the Lake Pontchartrain murder. Well, I'd call that a lead, all right. It certainly suggests certain lines of inquiry at the museum. Inquiry? Not bad work. Inquiry. Huh? If we can tie them into this voodoo call, we just might have some. I get a feeling we're gonna stumble across Mosley's dead body soon. How real? Mm -hmm. hey, I hate to admit it. Either that or he's in on it. Well, you know what they say. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, point taken. Glad I can inspire you. To be imitation I'll vanilla. Depart, Which makes more sense own. than ass in a sling. I better <laughs> lock up this office just in case I step on a few toes. Come on. Also, I installed that thing in my window so it looks like there's a Rada drummer in here at all times. <laughs> I, I don't want anybody messing with that projection. I mean, oh, okay. Okay, so that's outside on the street. So the Rada drummers are just haunting me him. Which right, means that there's, the like a, there's like a... Uh, the outside of that building must have like a little inlet... Yeah. Thing. <laughs> we saw the we saw the hot dog cart uh, come by there and that little it's inlet. Getting... But I the hot dog cart must have driven straight through Mosley's office if it is on the outside <laughs> of that wall. It's very strange. <laughs> um, you know that thing where people build buildings. What are those called? Architects. Architecture. Yeah. <laughs> strange architecture. <laughs> Gabriel Knight, sins of the architects. <laughs> wow, we are just flying through the days here. Yeah, we're gonna be on DOS 6 soon. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jeez. I haven't heard that in a long while. Uh -huh. Alright, well, let's uh did he not call her back? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, if it were me and I had like this hot chick who I were banging, I'd be like redial, redial, redial until like two AM at least. Anyway. <laughs> um it looks like we're going into another dream. So let's uh let's call it a day for now. And uh when we come back, more exciting asking random people about snakes and dead bodies, <laughs> probably, because we're gonna, shit just got real. Yeah, we're gonna get some clay and make some castings of everything. Let's just go make like a clay I, casting of Malia's face. So, <laughs> her death mask, if you will. <laughs> so far, so far we've had so much snake action, I'm really waiting for a leopard to show up. And, right? Uh, that's really kind of where I am in life right now. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilford Neville. And we are...